Hi everybody, better late than ever as you say when it comes to videos and I'm reacting to Fauzia. I'm hoping YouTube won't block because every time I do a reaction to Fauzia they block and it's so unfortunate. I've been so busy with personally with study and different things in my life I was forgetting about the, my channel and I said I better brush up and along came lots of requests in my book. This is my fan book. It's got a worldwide map front and back and I had so many people saying where are you? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, have you finished with the channel? Uh, would you look into this artist? So I've been going through a lot of new artists on my channel. Fauzi is one of those people that I don't need to put into blocks. I always do Italian, Spanish, in blocks, French artists all together. And I used to try and do at least four at a weekend on a good weekend and minimal two. But Fauzi, I fit in between. She's like Aura, she's like Diana. She's like uh, Dimash all on my channel, and she's like Lara Fabian. She has her legion of fans that will support her. So whenever a video comes up, they'll react. So I'm very fortunate that way. I don't have to block her with others to try and lift each other and support her. She's on her own, in a league of her own. And she's the hero at the moment of this song. And I am really, really intrigued. Because, as I said, I followed her from 2018. I, I wish for her to take a bit of a challenge in musical, musical direction. And then along came these images. And I thought, wow. So I created my own special uh, thumbnail based on this. I'm sitting here with the lyrics. I can't wait to react after. I'm intrigued to find out what she's getting on uh, and what, what's happening here and what the song is about. So um, let's get going because I talked far too much in the beginning. Let's jump into it. Got the lyrics. Looking forward. Hello, everybody. I'm back. And Fauzia, it's been far too long. I really will make it up to Fauzia fans by doing um, a, another reaction video to one of her songs uh, very, very soon, I promise. <laughs> Things I really have to know Before I go and let you in Don't wanna be rushing, no And make the same mistakes again Would you be there 5 a.m. on a weekend Through the thick and the thin Never second guessing with you Don't wanna wake up Wishing I never gave love Wishing I never gave trust Knowing it wasn't true If I was your name
have so much to say and I have so little time and I don't want to waffle because that will make you cry. I just... That's all I'm going to say about the video. I enjoyed it. It's very current. Um, it could easily be, easily be, and heard the start, a video game. And who's to say the merchandise wouldn't go that way? So congratulations on that. Fauzia. What do we say about a song that's taken you in a totally different, in my view, musical direction? I'd say it's a brave decision. I also say to you from the heart that I love the fact that you take chances. I do. I always have. Um, you've done a lot of ballads. And for, for me, I found this very poppy, very enjoyable. Your voice... Um, was fantastic as always and that's the wonder of your voice um i wondered could it be really poppy well you proved to me it can be it can be anything you want to be and that's wonderful when you've got um liquid gold voice and it's and it's just so natural let's go into first one a uh, few things i really have to know before i go and let you in don't want to be irrational and make the same mistakes again and the pre-chorus would you be there 5 a.m. on a weekend through the thick and thin, never guessing with you? Don't want to wake up wishing I never gave love, wishing I never gave trust, knowing it wasn't true. So there we have Fauzi going straight into almost like that game scene. She's different personalities. So we get to see the fighter. We get to see the lover. We get to see the romantic girl dancing with the girls. So it's different personalities reflecting the verses here. That's, that's what I get straight away. Because the first one I would say, um, and there's a reason she's got her hair and she's wearing leather and she's wearing different fabrics, I think, in the sequence of uh, images that we get of Fauzi in the video. But we'll go, we'll go into this. Through the thick and thin, never second guessing with you, don't want to wake up wishing I never, I never gave love. So she's in, as far as I'm concerned, she's in turmoil. And she's more or less wishing that instead of holding back, that the person uh, she's with would just stay uh, on a weekend. Would you be there to 5 a.m.? Maybe not a curfew, but maybe it's it's a relationship where they come and go at a certain time and it's a bit of a routine and she wants to change it and, and, and tease that person to stay to the morning and then from the morning a few hours loving. Because wishing I never gave love, wishing I never gave trust, knowing it wasn't true she doesn't want to wake up to that in other words she doesn't want to be a one night stand she wants to give it to somebody that will replicate her feelings and be a bit more than just casual fling morning embrace so that's what i get from that then straight into the chorus if i was your hero and it does start with if everybody if i was your hero would you be mine so there's a question obviously i know this ain't a fairy tale it's real life but if I were to say to you, would you do the same? And catch me if I'm falling, falling, falling. And we all know what falling, falling, falling is. It's in love. Um, because she's getting deeper and deeper involved emotionally with this person. But, and instead of romanticizing about the love, she's realizing maybe it's not coming back in reality as much as she would like. I know it ain't a fairy tale. Even though when we fall in love or have feelings for somebody, we get very childlike and very romanticized about it. It's real life, as she says. And if I was your hero, would you be mine? In other words, would you then, if you had feelings and you were sleeping together and you were falling in love and you were starting to get deeper, would you be that person that I've always wanted that person I could lean on, that person I could ring when I'm upset, that person that will always make me smile when I'm, when I'm feeling sad and then when I'm feeling happy, be happy with me. You know, they, in other words, she wants something solid in her life and she's ready for a solid relationship. Would that person be that hero she's always thought about? That knight in shining armor? But if you were, if, I were to save you, would you do the same? So she's almost compromising herself there. And when we see Fauzia in leather singing, it's almost like the leather is a very strong fabric, tough. 
and it gives you a toughened image so maybe during the sew that was why she wore the leather and did and if i were to save you would you do the same and catch me if i'm falling 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 again she's asking the question in that uh, symbolic outfit she wears quite a few um the question again i think it's one of those things where you meet somebody and they just don't facially emotionally give of vibes where you can read them and say ah they're falling in love with me maybe it's an empty phone maybe when they're together it's a silent talk where she's doing all the talking and looking pretty and the person's just hey you know without saying it it, it, it and there's nothing worse by the way so she's falling falling but all, all the time questioning I'm falling for somebody and I'm on fire and I'm romanticizing and I'm going through all these emotions because of this person but this person it doesn't reflect my hero image of what I what I want for a person what I've dreamed of having so she's she's really an embattlement there and then it says verse 2 maybe I'm better off alone because do you understand we get to verse 2 and she's already saying quizzing her feelings going if I don't get anything back and here's my advice, Fauzia. You ever find yourself in that situation? Yes, you are off better alone. Every woman, if I had a daughter your age, I'd be saying, yeah, yeah, get rid of him. He, he, we have, you know, I don't, I don't like these guys that walk around going, too many friends I had, and I seen the hurt they were causing their partners, couldn't get involved, they were friends. But it does make a quiz, maybe I'm better off alone. Now, at least that's what my mind is saying. You see, her mind is saying it. I think I've been through way too much, and that's emotionally. She's put a lot of emotions into feelings about this person, the love, everything. So you've got to assure that this love is sure. In other words, say something to me. Come on, wake up. Say something back to me. Say, I love you. I really do. And maybe explain why you shut your mouth so much whilst I talk and, and show you I love you. There's nothing worse than having a dead piece of wood as your partner. Nothing. And I swear to God, I've always said this. I'm glad I'm not a father because if I had a daughter, let's say Fauzia was my daughter, she would be of daughter age. I would be saying to her, you see you, Fauzia, if you can see how you look, how you sing, how you, will you get away from him? I have free time. She would be like, <laughs> she'd be writing a song about, about me, about adoption there'll be an adoption song or something i want to be adopted really quick my father is acting like a prick she's always having to quiz herself in the i feel in the lyrics like i know we all romanticize i know